For as long as history can remember, humans have continued to evolve into the best versions of themselves. They have been to the moon and back, can discover countless new things and inventions which pave the way to a better future for the generations to come. However, despite all the technological advancement in the modern world today, there are a lot of things and happenings that even the biggest minds of the modern world fail to explain about. They are in constant awe and are completely shocked to see what kind of places lie in our world. These places have been troubling researchers and archaeologists since they were discovered. Today we take a look at 10 of the weirdest discoveries in the continent of Asia that completely shock the entire world. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. The earthen mounds of Cambodia have been baffling scientists and researchers since they came to be found. Archaeologists have been struggling to explain its existence and the reason for them to have such a shape. The place is filled with immense fields of row upon row of dome-shaped mounds that are in the shape of grids and spirals. These ancient structures are believed to be more than a thousand years old. Researchers have been trying to find traces of ancient Cambodian civilizations, mainly the Khmer Empire in the surrounding areas such as Angkor Wat, the center of the Khmer Empire. They were using radars for their findings, but instead of the Khmer Empire, they stumbled upon these strange earthen mounds. These scans were taken in early 2015. They thought that these could be trash piles, tombs or massive burial sites. However, upon constant research into the area, the mounds were found to be nothing more than the earth, dirt and a bit more dirt. To their surprise, they did not find anything valuable in the area. Finally, it was believed that these could be some specialized water mechanics used for agricultural purposes since the patterns found that were mostly found near large water reservoirs and temple complexes, but the real truth remains a mystery to the researchers. If that was shocking for you, then what will you say about the walls of Shimao? For a greater part of history, scientists and researchers believe the ancient walls of Shimao to be a part of the Great Wall of China. However, some researchers believe that there was something strange about these walls, so they decided to further their research. They found that these walls were part of a marvelous fortress from ancient times. After digging up to about 230 feet of these ancient walls, they discovered the site to be the ancient city of Shimao, which is about 4300 years old. It remained in its full glory from 2300 to 1800 BC, until one day when the people residing in this magnificent city suddenly abandoned it. To this day, it remains a profound mystery as to why people abandoned such a beautiful place. However, it's known as the largest Neolithic settlement in the country. Next up, we have the Island of Gold, also known as the Sri Vijaya Kingdom, which is a place that stands at the exact place where the country of Indonesia stands today. Divers diving into the waters of these waters found hundreds of temple bells, tools, mirrors and other kinds of ceramics. Other such relics include rubies and golden rings, along with carved jars that are priceless. Once part of the powerful port and a wealthy city of Sri Vijaya, the city of gold was a successful business hub along the ocean route between the east and the west. The city declined in influence and wealth when war broke out between the Indian Chola dynasty and the king of Sri Vijaya. The last prince of this wealthy land tried to take control of the region but was defeated by the powerful forces of the nearby kingdom named Java. As of today, no trace of its original glory is to be found anywhere. It's almost near impossible to determine how daily life was back then. Did you know that in China, laborers digging a well came across a life-sized statue of a soldier? This led archaeologists to begin excavations. They discovered as many as 8,000 statues made of clay. Most of the figures were warriors and all had unique weapons and facial expressions. The statues also included a full-sized terracotta, horses and chariots. These amazing artifacts were once part of the mausoleum of the first emperor of China. The word mummy feels so much Egyptian that the whole world was shocked after the discovery of mummies buried in boats in Xijingang shocked the world when it was first reported by Chinese media. The bodies were found with a wide range of jewelry and other artifacts. One mummy was found with a massive jade ring and silver hairpin. Another contained a piece of cheese, which may have been used as food in the afterlife. Archaeologists have speculated that the mummies may be related to horse riding cultures that spread from Eastern Europe. They may also have spoken a language that was an ancient forerunner of modern languages. This theory has been endorsed by evidence from archaeological digs in Xinjiang, including the discovery of a woman wearing a pointed hat. This garment was worn by both men and women in certain Central Asian tribes. Scientists have concluded that the mummies have mixed ancestry with some European genetic markers and some Siberian. This indicates that they were not Chinese and may have assimilated with the local population. They are also believed to be of the Uyghur descent, which is why their skin and hair are unusually fair. Researchers 
from the Xinjiang Cultural Relics and Archaeology Institute began plumbing the tomb complex in the Taklamakan Desert in 2002. The site was first excavated in the 1930s but had been neglected for decades. When modern archaeologists uncovered the mummy, they discovered that it belonged to a woman who had been buried in a boat. The woman had high cheekbones and dense eyelashes and was wearing a white felt hat. The geoliths were first discovered in the early 20th century CE by the Peruvian archaeologist Toribio Mejia Zespe. They are practically invisible from the surface but are believed to be sacred pathways. Since they are so ancient, their exact purpose is still unknown. Initially, there was no explanation for the geoliths and their meaning was largely unknown. The earliest scientific explanations involved the use of balloons. However, astronomers disagreed with that theory and suggested the lines were built by aliens. Some believed that the lines were shaped like animals. Another theory was that they were built with the knowledge of constellations and stars. The geoliths are believed to be as old as 2000 years ago. They were created in depressions on the desert floor, exposing colored earth. The cat geolith, which is 37 meters long, was unnoticed until plans for a new path were drawn up. The path would have provided a vantage point from which to observe the rest of the geoliths. The first systematic study of the Nazca lines began in 1926. By the 1930s, a group of airplane pilots flew over the line formations and the world's attention was sparked. Since then, there has been a lot of debate on the purpose of the geoliths. In 1994, UNESCO recognized the Nazca lines as an enduring work of art and declared it a World Heritage Site. In the 1990s, scientists discovered mummified bodies of the Tarim Basin. These bodies were up to 4,000 years old and naturally preserved by the desert air. These mummies were dressed in wool clothing and ate cheese. They may have been migrants from Central Asia who died before the last ice age. The oldest mummies found in the Tarim Basin and Zungarian Basin were 3,700 and 4,100 years old. Those were the first known mummies. However, a DNA study of a much wider range of samples will reveal the differences between different populations. The genetics of the ancient Tarim Basin may reveal genetic influences from the Himalayas and Tibet. The place with the world's highest graveyard is probably what you're thinking right now. That's right, the world's highest summit, which is the Mount Everest. There are over 200 bodies on the mountain. Many mountaineers and hikers meet their ends trying to summit the world's highest summit in pursuit of etching their names in history forever. However, it does not always go as planned. Mostly die due to suffocation and lack of oxygen or by falling into an abyss. It's 29,000 feet above sea level. The oxygen levels are really low and the terrain is harsh. It's not for the faint of heart or mind to even think of summiting. The year 1996 was the worst year of the season for mountaineers as the death toll rose extremely high. In the northern part of Kazakhstan, you will find hundreds of remarkable landmarks, the origin of which are unknown. In Turgai, Kazakhstan, there are about 280 of these earthworks that form weird yet beautiful art pieces. There is no certain explanation for how these were formed, but many believe that it was the work of extraterrestrial life forms or aliens. Last but not the least, we have the coiled siphonophore. It's neither a monument nor a ruin. It's neither a place nor an artwork. It's a living species that was discovered recently in Asia. These are found in deep water bodies and are dubbed as the longest or the largest creatures alive as they can grow up to 50 meters in length. Stunning nonetheless. So that was all from today's video. If you enjoyed our content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any of our future uploads. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.